The big kicker is if there is enough demand, if there's enough noise, if there's enough noise, CDU is going to respond. And if CDU responds and builds the unit and the market responds to that unit, Yamaha is going to return in kind. That's what they do. Okay. Yamaha is going to go, oh, crap, we got to do something. All right. Now, Yamaha does not have the policy in place to make dedicated machines. They don't. All right. Everyone's like, where's Yamaha's Fish Pro? They came out with it. It's called the Jetfish, and it's a package. Actually, there's two layers or two tiers of the package. There's not a dedicated Jetfish. They think that's a better option because, like, you can have an FXHO, you could have a FX Limited SVHO with a Jetfish package. It doesn't matter. And if you got two different FXs, you can swippity swap. All right. Or now you can get the VX with the rec deck and put your Jetfish on that which effectively gives them a Fish Pro Scout. So again, hell, you can make a GP into a Jetfish if you want. So they feel that they have a little bit more of an advantage. It's just that it's not branded as well as the Fish Pro. Does that make sense? Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.